What is going on, yo? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. And today, KetoBodybuilding.com, we are diving into the vlog update of the building series. This is going to be week 20, reset week 9. So, lots going on here. I've been leading up to this 50-mile march, which was this past weekend. So, this past weekend, I walked 50 miles. Um, and it was a lot. I think it was like 120,000 plus steps in total. Uh, we marched from 3 p.m. on Saturday until 1 p.m. on Sunday. So through the night, just freaking ripping. And my feet are brutalized. But I've been doing a ton of cardio leading up to that march to condition my feet. So every day this month in August, I've been hitting 20,000 steps, which for me equates to about seven miles at the end of the day. So I've been doing that from the 1st through the 20th of the month. Had a few days where I slacked off on that to let my feet recover prior to the actual March itself commencing. And then March the 50 miles, and now I'm back here. I did sumo deadlifts the day before the March. I did Stairmaster the, the morning of the March. And then I did that cardio, and now I'm back home and did my first weight training session this morning, uh, Monday morning or Tuesday morning upon recording this. And went a little bit lighter on that weight training session because my feet are still super tender. I got a lot of blisters, but um, it was good. Got a full workout in. All is well there. I've been dropping my calories with that reset to kind of lose a little bit of weight going into the march. Um, I noticed that like last year I did the march, I was literally, it was like peak week. It was like the week before my first competition. Um, and I was about 40 pounds lighter. So I was super depleted, but I was about 40 pounds lighter. And that weight makes all the difference in the world. So this year, obviously, I wasn't depleted from a nutritional standpoint because I'm not in a prep right now. But I was 40 pounds heavier. And that, I think, made it actually harder for me uh, to do the march. But I still got it done, knocked it out, and very proud to march for the veterans. Um, all that to say... Now that the march is over, I'm not going to be doing the daily 20,000 steps. I'm going to drop that back down to my normal baseline of between five and 10,000 steps a day. Uh, so my output is going to be decreasing quite a bit from that. So I can hopefully allocate that energy to more consistent, intense weight training, which is my plan there to capitalize on the building phase. Um, back to the macros, I've been dropping those gradually with this reset. Still in the context of a building phase, but been dropping them, kind of going through my phase one and two, increasing protein, decreasing dietary fat, finding my protein threshold, and I've been at around 27, 2800 calories. Let's just jump into my chronometer account here. So when you look at the energy history, you can kind of see that drop. I had a little bit more uh, the day before, the day of, and the day after. Um, not so much the day after, but the day before, the day of the uh, walk just kind of getting some some food in there um, and then back down to normal here and you can see my weight's been dropping to kind of follow suit with that i'm about 10 pounds down overall just shy of 10 pounds about nine pounds down overall i was 191 upon waking this morning so feel good about that and if i go into my macros here today for instance i plan on consuming about able eight tablespoons of heavy cream in my coffee um, a keto brick, and then about eight egg life wraps, a pound of 8515 beef, and about a can of sardines packaged in olive oil, which is going to put me at about 2,700 calories, 185 grams of protein, 15 grams total carbs, and about 215 grams of fat. So that fat has been dropping. Protein's been gradually increasing. Uh, so we'll just kind of see where that levels out. I imagine I'll probably get to around 200 225 grams of protein until I hit that threshold in the context of this caloric intake and then I'll probably just see where things stabilize there I'd like to tighten up a little bit more maybe get down to around 185 pounds or so and kind of hold that weight and composition uh, and then bump the gal the calories up to about 3,000 and kind of hold that steady that's kind of my plan there to capitalize on this building phase for the foreseeable future uh, but now that the walking is done I'm going to allocate that energy to just focusing more on the intensity of the lifts. So I feel good about that. Um, here are some updated pictures. These are taken the day after marching 50 miles. So I'm still holding a little bit of inflammation in my lower body, especially from just walking. I've got some fluid retention there. Um, but apart from that, this is a pretty good reflection of what I'm looking like right now. In body's got me at 19.2% body fat. I think I'm probably around 16 at this point. Um, but the in body is, you know, grading me a little bit higher on that body fat percentage. 
I will try and get the DEXA scan done soon, and I shared my blood work with y'all the other day, so that's up to date there. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much what we got going on. I will say this little thing on the march, though. So there was 150 people that signed up. About 17 or 18 dropped out throughout the course of the march, and it was brutal. Like, I've done this four years in a row now, and I start at the starting line. There are people that look fit. There are people that are very overweight and fat, and I'm looking at these people, and I'm like, having done this, there's no way that person's going to be able to go 50 miles, and they do. And the people that I would assume would have no problem going 50 miles drop out. So the march is a perfect representation of how the mind is going to transform and be the deciding factor as to whether or not you make it or not. And this is an endurance event. This is an exercise in mental fortitude and resilience, and we're doing this to raise awareness and money for homeless veterans. So that's the cause, but it's a great opportunity to figure out what you're made of and what you're mental resilience truly is and that holds true regardless of the sport whether it's bodybuilding or endurance events or life in general and when you're faced with that adversity and it freaking hurts taking one step after another to push through and keep going until it's done like the people i march alongside of and i see cross that finish line with me i've got utmost respect for and the same is true in all arenas of life where you're going through hard things so whatever it is you're going through whether it's a bodybuilding competition prep an endurance event, you know, a hard relationship right now, or rocks on the business, career path, whatever it is, just keep going forward, making progress, put one foot in front of the other, literally and figuratively, and grind it out. So that is my two cents on the march. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all tuning in for week 20, and we'll see y'all next week for week 21.